That's right, we're live. Hi, this is Doc Martin for the Zero Channel. That's right, a subsidiary of KRAZTV.com. You know, I, I got a lot, I always get several books. This is, is, of course, a brand new one. It's called In the Enemy's House, Howard Bloom. Bloom. I wasn't going to do a book report on it because I was going to do it on several others. But once I got reading it, I was uh, absolutely flabbergasted. So I have to tell you about this book. It's called In the Enemy's House by Howard Bloom, The Secret Saga of the FBI Agent and the Codebreaker Who ca Caught the Russian Spies. Now, this, the enormous, or enormous, was the uh, Russian uh, setup to, that was their code name for the, the network to get the American atomic secrets. So, this guy, Bob Lamfrey, and Meredith, that's his name, Meredith Gardner, was the code breaker. It was almost unbreakable. It took him a long time. He worked on it solely, and finally he cracked or figured it out. It took him a long, long time to figure this out. Then they had to find out who all these people were. So by deductive reasoning, when some of the cables and stuff said so-and-so was here, then they figured out who was at Los Alamos. And so then they figured out that Fuchs, who was the Russian, I mean, the British guy who was caught, and then he was in prison. So he, Lamfrey went over to England, and then he interviewed him, and then he came back. Then they got Green Glass, and finally they got Rosenberg. Now, I mean, they gave their guts away. These people gave them pounds and pounds of paper that showed every secret of it. When they finally got them, they, uh, the guy said, well, we thought they were your our, our uh, allies, so why shouldn't they have had it? So they justified why they gave it away, the secrets. But Rosen, uh, Julius and uh, Ethel Rosenberg would not uh, confess anything. The other guys rolled over immediately. So because of that, they were condemned to death. Now, Ethel probably really didn't have a whole lot to do with it, but when she was pronounced, uh, they in the end, uh, Bob said he left the FBI because he felt that really she'd been executed because they wouldn't talk and he didn't see it. He tried to write letters and Meredith did also about having her not be executed, but they went ahead and did it because, well, you know, point is if the A-bomb had never been built, it wouldn't have helped continue to kill more people today, but it did those people. Anyways, that's my rant. Anyways, this is uh, gotten from the Pima County Public Library here in Tucson. It's called In the Enemy's House by Howard Bloom or Blum. I butcher people's names. Sorry about that. Anyways, get a read on it and uh, you'll learn a lot. I did. Anyway, thanks for watching KRZ TV. And if you can, help us. Uh, by supporting us, and uh, I have a good PayPal account over at uh, krztv.com.